Hello Headshot Group people, I'm Bolas Tot and today I want to show you how to reduce lens flare in Photoshop. It's a fairly easy trick that I learned and you only need to use just one adjustment layer, it's called the selective color. Well, the problem with this area is that it has uh, no, fairly no color and it is really bright compared to the skin next to it. So what we need to do is go into the colors and select neutrals and put some color in it, put some science, put some magenta and put some yellow in there. And also you need to put a little color into the whites as well. So like like this. So there isn't a really uh, measurement that you can use on all of your pictures. You have to just guess it and then just fiddle with it and see where it goes. So if you press Ctrl I uh, then we mask out the whole thing and what we're gonna do is just really slowly brush in what we just did like a 5% flow rate is fairly good so what you do is just to start brushing in real slow because you can see there's different areas you can pan tool it around if you want if you're that pro but I think it's much easier to just simply brush the whole thing in now it doesn't look too much now, but trust me, it will build up to be a better looking image. So take your time. You can add uh, like 10% if you think that it's too slow to the flow rate. And that's about it. Also what you can do, and this will really help us, is to just to put put some blacks in there as well. Not just the color, but make them darker a little bit. And also make the neutrals darker a little bit. See, now we're talking. Now it's getting better. Yeah. So, when you do this correctly and not just messing up like I do right now, then you can arrive at something like this. See? Pretty easy. Now, if you look at another picture where we have also coloration, because this lens probably has some anti-reflection uh, filter on them, but when you light this, it, it comes out in a little greenish, yellowish tone, which doesn't look really good. So, what you need to do at this point is that you need to um, get rid of some of the coloration. So you go to the neutrals in, in the selective color adjustment layer and, uh, and uh, you can add some color in there. But uh, for in order to do this you need to know some things. In this scale there's cyan on the in one side and there's red on the other. So it goes cyan, magenta, yellow and it goes red, green and blue. So we want to get rid of some yellow. So what we do is just reduce the yellow and also we need to get rid of the the green so we add some magenta and also reduce just the sign a little bit now it looks funny this way but uh, you control I sends you back to the original and then you slowly build it up use like a 2% or, or even lower percent rate of brush and just brush it slowly in and we can see there's some coloration in parts where are darker, uh, less where, where it's brighter, so it's not easy to, to just you know, select the whole thing and, and make it white in, in, in the mask layer. That's why I, I like to use the brush, to just simply brush it in, and get slowly rid of all the color that we don't need. The goal is to make this little flare as white as possible. So from the green make it white again. Just like we saw in the first picture. And when it's fairly white you can add some black to it and then make it a little darker so it looks much better. See? And when you do this correctly and not just mess around like I did then you can arrive at something like this. See? It's almost all gone. Pretty easy, huh? Also, we can look at another picture. 
that I took. Yeah, it looks right because I already did it, but see, there are some little reflections here as well. And you can see that the colors are different. This is a li little bit uh, greenish, some blue in there, also green, but also some magenta, and here it's almost like pure white. So if there isn't, isn't one way to, to solve this all, you have to fiddle with these uh, scales and see what fits your image the best. So, uh, yeah, good luck trying it out, and if you have any questions, please f feel free to contact me. See you guys.